to start our live session in just a moment. We're doing our test here to see if we're getting volume. And action. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay, welcome to the uh, Facebook Live information session for the Kaler School of Nursing. Um, I am here, I, my name is Nika Lockhart. I am the Director of PR for Lincoln Memorial University. And I'm here today with Dr. Marilyn Bowman Hayes. And I will let you introduce yourself and talk about um, your connection to this program. Okay, I'm uh, Dr. Marilyn Bowman Hayes. And at LMU here, I not only am the Director of Online Learning, but I am working with the Master of Science in Nursing with the concentration of Nursing Business Administration. My prior experience with this type of degree is when I was getting my master's, they didn't have this degree. Mm -hmm. And I then, because master's were an, a goal for management, I went ahead and received my MBA, yes. then I got my master's in nursing, later on got my doctorate. This takes care mm -hmm. of combining those two. So that's why it's called a nursing business administration, okay? But it is a master's in nursing. And I think that's important right. because if you're in management, mm -hmm. you need it. So how many years um, did it take you to get all of your credentials versus what this program would do? Uh, well, remember those are two separate master mm -hmm. degrees and right. I went full time. So each one was a couple of years. Okay. And so this degree, if you take it and you combine it and you can complete it if you go full time in 17 months. The nice thing about it you can go part-time too, mm -hmm. right. you know, you right. have a choice. But the really nice thing about it is because it is totally online. Yes, that's important. It <laughs> is, because you can do it at your pace and time of day. For right. instance, I did a lot of my work after midnight. You know, the kids were in bed, right. I had finished any of the projects that I needed for work, right. and then I'd pull up my program and, and start, start, start and you could get work. a couple of hours in and then of course you have the weekend to work on things too right. so you can you can get it done and the nice thing is that you have a choice right full time part time so okay. you're talking about one class versus th three, three classes. let's say three classes so you can choose the way you function best and the other thing that Lincoln Memorial offers mm -hmm. within the nursing programs all of the programs mm -hmm is we have 24-hour support. So let's say, for instance, you had an assignment due at midnight. It is now 11.30. Really? And you have problems because you don't know how to submit it, you can't find the Dropbox, although all of our courses right. are set up the same, but you, you are having some difficulties. Or you submitted it once, your paper, and you think, oh my goodness, I should have made a change. And you want to mm. submit it again, and you still have time, what you do is you contact your support person in nursing, who is a nurse, mm -hmm. and you just call them, text them at that time of night. Don't email them at that time because they're they not probably won't check that. Right. <laughs> but if you text them or call them, they will talk you through it and help you with the problem. That is amazing customer yeah. service for, the, for I mean, sure, for sure. Well, we recognize the needs of the online person. Mm -hmm. You know, the online professional, um, they are working at these odd hours. Right. And That's so the whole point. You exactly. have to have support. Um, so tell me, um, in addition to the convenience, why why would why would someone enroll in this program? Well, you know, the thing is, if you're in management at any level mm -hmm. in nursing, yes, if you're a manager, director, assistant vice president, CNO, mm -hmm. this program takes you through the core components. But let's look at any of these positions, mm -hmm. okay? Any level of management. Yes. First of all, you have to be able to do financial planning, mm -hmm. budgeting, analysis. You have to be able to take that data and do something with it. You have to know how you're gonna get that equipment, how you're gonna get your return on investment, and that's key. But we also know that not only are we judged by our patients through HCAP surveys, yes. 
but our employees do employee satisfaction surveys. This helps you through that, through the human resources management and business strategy courses, okay. and all of these key components are worked, even though there may be a human resource strategy component, mm -hmm. you actually take these components and financial components and work them through the other courses too, and in your projects, your clinical hours. Excellent. And so we have looked at the whole MBA mm -hmm. and worked it into nursing management. And then we have our core nursing classes that have to be present, you know. Excellent. So it's really great. It sounds like it just a really valuable tool to help someone who is um, you at, at what some at some point in their career in nursing, and then maybe wants to advance, uh, go into a management level. Is that sort of the idea? Yes. Well, that or you can already be in the management mm -hmm. level and never receive these core things, yes. these core criteria, and now you're being held responsible for it. Yes. So right. it's more like on-the-job training and you're asking your peers mm -hmm. and yet now you know the different accrediting bodies want people in management to have okay. these higher degrees okay and this gives you that for instance let's look at healthcare informatics you know we all know that the EHR is here to stay a lot of our equipment is now driven with technology and can download an interface for instance to the EHR but we also have all that information that we are gathering, mm -hmm. and we need to know how to analyze it. You know, our infection preventionists will tell us that they need this information on, let's say, total joints. Right. And you have to be able to pull it, not only for them, but for, let's say, your Department of Surgery meeting, and to present to your staff. And the one thing about this program is as we move forward in healthcare, evidence-based practice, mm -hmm. translational research is there, taking the research and putting into practice. And you have to be able to communicate with your staff because you're all in this together. Right, right. You know, it's not a hierarchy. You are all working together and you have to be able to take that information and explain it to them and present it at the different levels that you also present it. How does the government want this information right, submitted? Right. But also it ex it's showing you how to explain it to your staff so that they know why it's important. We just didn't come up with this idea. Yes. We also look at, and it's unfortunate that we have to at this time, but it is reality. We look at disaster planning mm -hmm. because yes. it is real. And before we used to worry about earthquakes mm -hmm. And I know in the Midwest, we always did the earthquake or a multi-vehicle accident, yes. you know. But now, unfortunately, it is shootings. And we do look at disaster planning. What is the suggestion? How do you do it? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, um, you have to be prepared. I know being in that position at one time and having to call in the staff, uh, it is... A different experience and you have to you have to be prepared for it so we want to make sure that the people in these roles mm -hmm. understand the whys because healthcare facilities have a plan yes and maybe with knowing what the criteria is you can fine-tune your plan and make it better and then you also can explain to your staff why you're doing it this way that's a really that's a really excellent point and feature and I know the program has lots of lots of features um, that we could talk about uh, what I'm looking to our Facebook live audience tell me some questions you all have may have about the program you can comment on our feed here and let us know if you do have any specific questions um, let's see we'll continue talking about um, let's talk about what the candidates for the program, what are the prerequisites? What do you have to have to begin? They need to have their BSN. A BSN, mm -hmm. okay. And um, could in, what, any other? No, this is a nursing degree. Nursing it's a degree. Master of okay. Science in Nursing. And so with the concentration being the MBA. Okay. Um, and so you are a nurse and you need to have your BSN. Um, when do the uh, this, the classes start this fall? Is this that correct? fall, right? So, what's the timeline for? Uh, let's say we have someone who's interested and um, 
and they need to what do they need to do immediately well you can go online and we do have online applications okay you can also call us so we have a nurse recruiter okay a student a fact you know recruiter what's our phone number do you know it <laughs> do you know go to go to the uh, LMU website www LMU net Dot edu that's lmu net dot edu and uh, look up our Kaler School of Nursing information and you can apply online go to um, the uh, LMU Kaler School of Nursing we have uh, of course here we're on our Facebook page and we'll provide that information uh, in the in the posts on our Facebook page and uh, you can you can apply and how, what so once you apply what happens well Sherry Pearman who is our advisor for students mm -hmm. and over the whole recruitment program for students is the person that you predominantly be will be working with so if on that posting you could provide her information okay and you can also give my name and phone number excellent excellent so that they have a contact if someone wanted to call yes. and ask questions yes, ask more absolutely. questions absolutely um, we do have uh, a question well is it starting this fall yes um, what about the price range there was um, is it is it similar to uh, what how competitive what are, what is the comparison? We are com we are competitive. In fact, okay. I know that this program is very competitive just from my prior mm -hmm. experience with my other two masters. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Are there any other questions out there? We've got the apply online and just any other general comments that well, you think we have a very qualified fa staff faculty for faculty, this program. Yes. Uh, we have management experience. We have other faculty that have their MBAs. We have faculty that also mm -hmm. have their doctorate. We also are utilizing our legal experts. Okay. So that very they good. can contribute their to yes their teaching class. Yes. Okay. And they will present sections. We have collaborates, and that is basically similar to this, mm -hmm. where okay. it's a two-way conversation. Um, now, I admit, most of us don't show our pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we talk, and we put up the PowerPoints. I understand. Because we do do those at a convenient time for the students. Okay. If the students are not able to participate, they are recorded, so that way they can play them back and get key information. Um, so what you're talking about is a, an interaction, online interaction. Was that is that it's the sort like of a thing? Webinar. Used, it, yeah, the sort of thing. Is that the uh, one of the um, ways that you are used to teach the classes? What are what is the online experience like? Well, the online experiment about? experience is basically everything is divided into units. It's well described as mm -hmm. far as what you have to do within each unit. Mm -hmm. We have discussion boards, so you do have to participate with your peers. In discussion and your faculty also participates mm -hmm. but because some people really want to be able to have that discussion live with their faculty mm -hmm. not just sending emails mm -hmm. we do do collaborates so that way if they have the time and we, I personally always do a, a survey mm -hmm. to see what time works for people and then we go ahead and post that time in advance with a link Mm -hmm. And then you get on and you can see the PowerPoints and have discussion. It may be that you have a question about the project. Right. But if you have that question, as they say, other people probably do too. Right. And so we want to give you an opportunity to actually have live, live discussion with faculty. Mm -hmm. um, it usually is not mandatory. Some faculty may have one occasion that's mandatory, for instance, if the legal counsel is speaking. But again, it is done so that we do a survey, we find out what works for people. Okay. You know, uh, but overall, you know, those are really just an open dialogue, and we do cover the key points that are in those units that, you know, that week, or in the chapters that mm -hmm. week, and we open it up for discussion, but a lot of times what you find is that people want to talk about their projects. Yes. And that's really great because as they talk about what they're doing, and their peers are online too, they share that information, and they share the problems that they've had. For instance, they may have picked a project that they just cannot find all the resources that they want. And somebody else may know that, hey, you know, I did this at my job, and mm -hmm. 
I have some to share with you. So, it, and that may be another wonderful aspect of the program is just the networking and the getting to know other yes. colleagues, other people in your profession, and and sharing that sort of experiences, those sort of experiences and challenges. Um, I think that that's a really that's a really nice thing. And so. faculty is very very available. Yes. at LMU. You could even I would assume even though it's an online, you could come in and meet if with faculty. If people want to come in, they can. Faculty is really great mm -hmm. about returning phone calls, returning emails. Sometimes you just have a simple question, and all you really want to do is have an email response. Right. But it's your choice. I mean, if you email and say, what about this? Or did you want it in this format? Right. What are you looking for? You know, am I on the right track? Sometimes people will send you stuff in advance uh -huh. and ask you to read it or to make sure that they're on the right track. Yes, definitely. I'm sure, and, and you know, nursing students, lots of students that are very conscientious, they do want that feedback. You're right. Um, and, and again, it's not like I have to wait till certain office hours. You no. can just do it when you're thinking, and then the other person can reply. The faculty member can can reply. Um, here is a question. We uh, were hoping to start the classes this fall. Um, clinical clinical hours and costs. Yeah, we will post information about um, uh, the costs uh, on our website and on the, the page to give you some information or have someone, you know, if you have a specific question and you want someone to call you, please do so. Uh, post, again, send us a, a direct message if you don't want to put something in the comments and we'll get your questions answered and get right back to you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to wrap things up? No, I think that this, though, well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that this program is ahead of its time, but the time is now. Yes. We shouldn't have to, as nurses, do two programs or look at a program that combines the credit hours somewhat mm -hmm. uh, so that you have to take more credit hours when we have something like this that focuses right on nursing businesses. It, it sounds like a very specific need that is going to be filled with this degree program. Well, especially if you're in management. Yes. And it doesn't matter at which level. It sounds wonderful. It prepares you for the future and it helps you take care of today. And, and, and can help you, um, it just sounds like it can just be so helpful to we all want to make ourselves better and be better at our jobs and, and be better, you know, advance our careers. You, this would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money if they had this when I first started. That is, that is the music I mean, that I'm people just telling want, you. music to your ears kind I of information. I could have had a lot more of a social life if I would have Wonderful. been able to do this instead of get two degrees. Because originally, you know, being in management, mm -hmm. they wanted people that had the financial skills. Yes. And so... Those are two very different skill yeah. sets, obviously. And so I went and got my MBA, and then they said, hey, but now they want people to have their master's in nursing. And so <laughs> I did that too. Right. And so I'm telling you, I wish this would have been here and I would have known about it and, back then. And here it is. So for anyone who has um, interest in this program, you know, if you've heard it, it's it's going to be so helpful to you um, please give us send us some information about yourself and your interest and we will contact you and um, I guess that is all for our Facebook live information session um, and we'll be we'll be seeing you around take care thank you <laughs> bye